I'm supposed to compliment the bride, and I tell you what, that's that's easy, isn't it? I mean, I am a wee bit biased, but I think Jill looks uh, absolutely stunning today. Well, our eyes actually did lock, and... Um a strange thing happened and my tummy flipped girls we know that and he walked over to me and said hi i'm kipper i'm your future blind date This time last year, staff were happy and looking forward to positive aspects of a new redevelopment, having uh, electric patient records and that sort of thing. Then the pandemic hit and then our lives completely changed. The impact on staff wellbeing was just significant. So having Raise a Rainbow and supporting that would be unbelievably great for all our staff, all the frontline staff that have been working throughout the last year. When the first wave started, uh, I had a few friends who were affected by COVID, a couple recovered quite quickly, the other one ended up in ICU for a month with, on oxygen for three weeks. So I saw the advert from Ray's asking for volunteers and applied. Obviously there's more patients in hospital, there's more patients receiving intensive care and visitors are no longer allowed, so there's more work to do. I have lost my niece who was buried two weeks ago in Hemel Hampstead through to this pandemic. She left four kids. Uh, the youngest has been seven. And uh, as you come to work, it does start affecting you. So you were thinking, what next? Is it me tomorrow? So all these psychological things are playing in our minds on a daily basis as we try to uh, nest the nation back to normality. <laughs> challenge has been the impact of COVID-19 directly affecting our customers uh, who have been unable to travel. But despite the challenges, over 97% of the development was sold off plan with only four apartments remaining to sell um, by the time the Dumont was completed in 2020. COVID has prompted us to embrace the digital world even more so than before. We are now offering virtual appointments as well as producing videos for our customers to experience the Dumont remotely. Hi, my name is Carl Manser and I'm a senior uh, registered operating department practitioner. An operating department practitioner is uh, a trained member of staff who works in the operating theatre. Uh, there's three areas that we cover. There's anaesthetics, recovery, and on the scrub side, so assisting the, the surgeon. My main role is to review and to give advice about the abnormal blood results that come through the department. So that might be um, 
giving a diagnosis or a suggested diagnosis, or it might be suggesting changes to treatment re regimens for, for doctors. Um, there are other parts to the role. There's a scientific part to the role, making sure that all the methods that are on our analyzers that run these tests are all working correctly. The, the new Hornsey Park here at Clarendon Road is, is amazing. It's a, a green, open space, accessible to all and for all, and I'm looking forward to seeing people enjoy it in the years to come. The park forms the heart of the development and in the current environment creating new outdoor space is really important. It's really great to have another green space. I was quite excited by the playground actually and uh, walking around this place there's lots of little opportunities to sit and enjoy yourself which is, gives it such a great atmosphere. It's really exciting to see the artwork situated here at Clarendon and um, it's personally very exciting because it's my first permanent public artwork. We, we know from millions of vaccines we have done that the first vaccine will give you protection about to 8 to 12 weeks and then it seems to wear off. The second vaccine will top your protection up so it will give you even longer and better protection. So up to 95%. Yes. <laughs> I'm really pleased we've got this new facility opening here on St Albans Road, right in the heart of our community. I know it's going to make a big difference to the lives of local residents for years and years to come. Watford Council's worked really close with ABC, providing them with help and support and financial assistance too. I know that boxing clubs actually make a positive difference in people's lives. We've met people today whose lives have been turned around because of the impact of their coaches, providing positive role models, discipline and raising their aspiration. And so it's really good that Watford Council's been able to work with ABC to make this project a reality. And I know it'll have a big impact on the lives of Watford residents for years and years to come. So West Arts ABC and Education School came about with the help of Peter Taylor, the Mayor's Fund, um, a massive, uh, a massive help for us. We're a sport for good. We want to give young people a sporting chance. Hello, and welcome to Equestrian Moving Memories. Whether it's a first riding lesson, getting back in a saddle, or your most recent eventing success, we can bring your images to life by combining your photo and video on a canvas or an acrylic for a moving memory that you can treasure for years to come. Thank you.